Okay, so we've run a bunch of tests to compare the Transformer Infinity with the latest iPad from Apple, and the results are in. The Geekbench app is great because it uses all cores of the device's processor and the results are calibrated against the same standard, so the scores are completely relational. It's not so much about graphics, but about processor and memory speed. So, how did the two competitors go? The new iPad had a top-line score of 754, while the Transfer Infinity pretty much wiped the floor with the iPad with a score of 1645. Now, according to Geekbench, the scoring is proportional, so double the score means double the performance. So, using a broad brush, Geekbench indicates that the Transform Infinity is twice as good as the new iPad in performance. Then we move on to BrowserMark to measure browser performance. A higher score is better in this test. Uh, here, we have Safari up against Chrome for Android. The iPad came in at 105,000 and the Infinity pushed its own result to 161,000, so a definite win there for the Infinity. For JavaScripting, we ran SunSpider, here a lower score is better. On this one, the iPad came in at 1684 milliseconds and Infinity at a smidgen under 1400 milliseconds. Another win for the Transform Infinity. Next, we ran the GL Benchmark app on both devices. We used both the Egypt and Pro standard tests. They looked very similar and ran smoothly on screen while the tests were running. However, the Transform Infinity processed 3708 frames at 33 frames a second on the Egypt test, while the iPad performed at 5963 frames at 53 frames a second. On the Pro test, it was similar, with the Transform Infinity producing 2374 frames at 47 frames a second, while the iPad came in at 2882 frames at 58 frames a second. So, on a graphics benchmark, the iPad is, well, still the benchmark. So, as far as benchmarking goes, the Infinity looks to be a clear winner in three of the four benchmarking tests we ran. It's fast in browsing and handling JavaScripts, as well as accessing its own memory, and is an overall better computational device. What this does show is just how close Android tablets are getting to the iPad in overall performance. As always, please share this video, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'd love to hear your comments and questions in the area below. Until next time.